Yep, I'm back again. I just keep turning up like a bad penny. What can I say? Anyway, it is hot. Hot, 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 hot. Last week, we had a day up in the 90s. And then all of a sudden, it dropped back down into the high 50s, 60s. And being on the edge of high desert, you can have anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees drop as the sun goes down. So we went from sweating to death to back into jackets and sweaters and such. And yesterday we were back in the 90s. It's not a lot different today. Woohoo! So yeah, it's hot. Currently got windows open, I can't guarantee what sounds we're going to pick up extra. I will try and remember to adjust the erasure of background sounds on the edit stuff. Um, what else was, oh yeah. I don't know how familiar all of you are with the company Beauty Creations. Now, Beauty Creations has come out with a new product. It's a powder foundation. And this has nothing to do with the product itself. This has to do with the advert. There, one of the models on this advert. If you know anybody, or if you do them yourselves, any retro pinup artwork. You need to keep this advert in mind because one of the models is absolutely freaking perfect for retro pinup. It's the it's the blonde child. And oh my god, the face is perfect. Big Cupid's bow pouty mouth, the eyes, the whole nine yards, okay? This child has got it. I'm going to put a picture up that's from their website that's just got all four of the models in it. I am not saying that the other models are any less than this one, but for this specific ethic, the minute I saw this model the first time, I started just going off about, oh my God, pinup face. Incredible. You really have to see this. Anyway, what else? Oh yeah, I'm almost finished with my current class, which is on writing feature stories. And I've got two weeks left in this one. And then I start my first class that is a requirement that's not already covered by a bunch of my other stuff, but it's the first class for the, requir for the requirement for one of my double minors. It's for psychology. It, it, it's abnormal psychology. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I love learning. It just, it's a thing. I show up on the phone. I don't care if I got a text message. Foolish thing. Anyway, what I'm going to be working with today is I finally finished all of the, the new stuff that I got from C Color. So now I'm on the Revolution stuff that I just got. Here. And this is the Forever flawless birds of paradise and I just yeah I gotta do this thing you know I just I got to do this thing and I'm looking at it and going oh yeah oh yeah too many pretty colors to play with us 
let's see, where am I going to start just for the heck of it? Believe it or not, I think I'm going to start on the inside corner. Now I've got the, I've got a combo of the Elf Putty and the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base, and it's a combo mainly because, well, uh, I didn't clean my brushes. I know, bad me. I meant to mention that model the other day when I had the other film going. That was where I was sitting there going. There was something else. What was the something else? Where I was trying to remember what was something else and it was that model. I have no idea what the model's name is. I haven't gotten that far looking it up or anything because I don't do that artwork. I just figured if I told somebody about the artwork, maybe they'd like go do something, you know? Anyway, I'm talking beautiful things. Perfect for pinup. Serious classic. It's one of those faces that like I wish I had. It would make me happy. Cute face. Cupid's bow. And the pouty lips. Yeah. I I, I could I could get behind all of that, you know. I just really could. Too bad that's not what I got, huh? And considering I'm not about to like go running off and find some crazed person with a craving to do surgery on little old A little bit of the spray brush cleaner so you can get stuff off. Just a little scrubby pad thing that's got terry on one side. I mean, you could do it with a washcloth or whatever, but like currently the washcloth that I've got now, I've got set aside for doing things like putting a little my cellar water on to clean up edges and stuff, so. the other colors that I'm looking at doing from this palette. Oh, that's right. This one does have color names. So, I started off with Island. And this one is Vacay.
and oh, I'm not doing identical eyes side to side, just a knot. Oh yeah, I need to extricate this thing from down here so I can pick it up and show you. I'll try not to blind anybody. This is my fancy new mirror. And yeah, I can't pick it up too far because it's got an electric cord for the light. But I've got a huge mirror with multiple lights, multiple light levels to do the main phase. 2x, 3x, 4x, 10x. So, yeah. Picked it up for, I, if I remember correctly, this one was 15. That's if I remember correctly. Not bad. And it's, it's bigger than the ones that I've been using to sit on the desk. So, it's like I don't have to bend as far to see my bug in it, which is handy. Anyway, the next one I'm using is Macaw, which is a blue. It's not as intense as Vacay, but the only other deeper Blue in the palette is Rio, and that's just nothing but glitter. I may put some of the Rio and Lovebirds here and there. In a couple of spots, but it, it's kind of chunky glitter, and that's not really my favorite kind of shiny because it gets in your eyes. Now, see, the thing is, even with this nice big mirror with all of its lovely accoutrements. I have a problem with doing some of what I'm doing because this is the better eye. This is the blinder. Now, granted, it's not blind. but it's fuzzier enough that I have trouble even just navigating, walking around if I have something going on inside that I have to keep shut. Which is really annoying. Really is. Not as annoying as being even worse off. A friend of mine decided to get LASIK surgery because when she dropped her glasses beside the bed, she had to get up and go put her contacts in to be able to find her glasses. And she said, I'm done with this, but you got LASIK. It just, yeah, not so much. <laughs> my little dog just knocked some of my brand new spanking clean laundry off the end of the bed because he decided he needed to roll in it. Thanks a lot, but I'll have to be nice. He's not technically a what. He's got papers besides the 
um, his parents are, were both registered Russells, but I've got the papers on him, but I never bothered to register him. One, he was the runt of the litter. Two, he doesn't meet the fancy conformity. Three, I didn't want to be bothered. And four, we had him had him altered, so he doesn't meet criteria in Now, since we were getting him for pet quality only anyway, this one's an adventure. Start extending his purple back just a little bit. A little bit darker at the crossing. got him for quite a bit less than a lot of people pay for fancy doguses. Because we went in with the understanding that we were going to take him specifically as a pet and had no intention of doing anything else with his little self other than cuddling him. So the breeders were very kind and we paid significantly less than the hella price that people paid for his sibling. The other thing is we could have made a different choice and still got a dog similar if we wanted one that was not just a pup because they also did Russell Rescues. So they had other options that we could have gone with and not just taking a run. Now see, that's just it. I'm looking for another runt of some sort, but I want a small dog. Do you know how hard it is to find a small dog that doesn't cost more grand or more Jeebus. I was looking at some of the little Frenchies that are bred here in town. We've got a breeder right here, and I was going, oh, that's convenient. And I like Frenchies, they're cute. Now, granted, these dogs have impeccable pedigrees. They get DNA tested to make sure there's nothing unusual going on in case you're going to breed them. But, dang. Part of it has got to be, I know, Frenchies are so bloody popular right now, it's not funny. But, four grand. I can buy a better car for not a great car, but a better car than the one I have. The one I have, the air conditioner was Yes, I know. The one I had before, the air conditioner was blessed. The guy I bought this one from swore black, blue, blind, and bloody that the air conditioner worked, and he lied. That's one of the risks you take, you know.
blue's a little patchy. That's some better. Now, they have in here a white called cockatoo. And I'm going. Okay. And the cockatoo, I'm just going to kind of go around the edges for the heck of it. I'm sure up in some of these edges. Just because that's what I'm feeling like doing. I'm going to drag the weight right up under the upper lash, the under, the under, the upper lashes. Gee bucks, I can't even speak to correct it. Under the lower lashes. Just for the heck of it. I would probably put some other stuff under there, but I just, I just want to drag it down. You can't tell me I can't. So there. This side. Now I've started working. On, yes, I'm still working on the book. I'm still doing edits. Also looking at possibly doing podcasts. I've kind of started doing it because I've got a little bit of a blog going on WordPress for my writing stuff. But every one of the the tutorials that I've looked at for doing blogs, they're going, get rid of your condenser mic that's on, you know, like your web camera like I've got, or the little ones that you use for things like game systems and that kind of thing. It's like, just get rid of the omnidirectional Denser mic and go get or order or whatever something called a dynamic mic. And then once you get your dynamic mic, you need to learn exactly, exactly where to put it in front of you. And if you don't have one of those little, believe it or not, it's called a spit screen. A spit screen on it, you learn to set it to like the side. So you're not breathing directly on it. Now I'm going, y'all are making things complex here. But I found a dynamic mic that's not terribly expensive. It's like everything else. You know, you start small work on It's not like I've got a studio where I can do things like set up, you know, great overhanging microphones, and fancy cameras. I still don't even have, you know, an actual video camera. I've got 
got a webcam. Granted, it's not a bad webcam, but it's a webcam. I can't take it out of the house to go do stuff. It's a webcam. It's a little box that sits on a little stand. If you're doing, you know, standard like web calls or whatever, it's one of the ones that will sit on top of your monitor. So, yeah. Not such a big. It's not looking too bad so far. Let's see. This one that's called Tail Feather, which is another burbly color, and go under here carefully. Carefully. Allergies hit me right in the ears, which is rude. We try to avoid making people feel uncomfortable by the snotty. <laughs> On the live. Well, I still haven't quite figured out how to do the live stream stuff yet, and I'm going. I'm not sure I want to. I'd have to find somebody who wants to sit there and keep an eye on some of the stuff in the comments to keep it from getting nasty and I don't know that I want to annoy somebody enough to do that and I do understand that if you're on a live stream the idea that you're going to get some nasty comments from any interlopers is a little higher than the one than where you get nasty comments from your regular you know, your regular bits. Let's see. Okay, the only shiny blue that I've got is the glitter. Look at that. Shiny. No, I didn't put glitter glue there. Because I didn't. One of my bottles jumped off the desk. And then, now that one was called, the one was called, and then, 
there's this one, which is lovebirds. And no, I'm still not putting water glue on. For one thing, this is coming back off shortly. It's Monday evening here on the west coast of the U.S. And for me, it's 6.30 in the evening. I'm not going anywhere. Let's, what else am I going to do here? I'm going to just go ham. And this will probably be really, really a mess or something, just because. They've got a color in here that's called Budgie. It looks like my hair. It's kind of a sour apple green. too bad, huh? Yeah, I know. I've only taken the clips out of the curls. I haven't taken the comb to it yet. Chill. I'll get there. Maybe. Sometime. Anyway, that's as far as I'm getting right now. I'll be back. Allergies hit me right in the ears, which is where we try to avoid making people feel uncomfortable by eating <laughs> snotty. on the live. Well, I still haven't quite figured out how to do the live stream stuff yet, and I'm going. I'm not sure I want to. I'd have to find somebody who wants to sit there and keep an eye on some of the stuff in the comments to keep it from getting nasty and I don't know that I want to annoy somebody enough to do that and I do understand that if you're on a live stream the idea that you're going to get some nasty comments from any interlopers is a little higher than the one than where you get nasty comments on your regular you know, your regular bits. Let's see. 
Okay, the only shiny blue that I've got is glitter. Look at that. Shiny. No, I didn't put glitter glue down. Because I didn't. Well, that was weird. One of my bottles jumped off the desk. And then, now that one was called, the one was called Korea. And then, there's this one. And no, I'm still not putting water glue on. For one thing, this is coming back off shortly. It's Monday evening here on the West Coast. And for me, it's 6.30 in the evening. I'm not going anywhere. Let's, what else am I going to do here? I'm going to just go ham. And this will probably be really, really a mess or something. Just They've got a color in here that's called Budgie. It looks like my hair. It's kind of a sour apple green. Looking too bad, huh? Yeah, I know. I've only taken the clips out of the curls. I haven't taken the comb to it yet. Chill. I'll get there. Maybe. Sometime. Anyway, that's as far as I'm getting right now. I'll be back. did not finish the face because, let's be real, it's hot and I'm sweating. It really won't matter much. However, this is my right bag. It is the bisexual pride flag. We have the pink on one side to denote same-sex attraction. The blue on the other side, which denotes opposite-sex attraction. And the purple in the middle, that is the combo 
of the two, which goes for bisexual, because we're not so much concerned about whether or not the person we fall in love with is specifically a male or female. We fall in love with people. Which kind of actually flirts around the edges with pansexual. There is, if you look at it, some overlap in some of the definitions. Just because human. So, yeah, that happens. Alright, where did my favorite poem go? It's run away! Ah. See, I have this comb for when I curl my hair like this. And it's got all these little tifuses. Little tifuses. And you just kind of run it through and pick things apart figure out where you want them to be. And then once you get them mostly where you want them, you kind of spray them. And, you know, if you're just doing a messy day, it's a like, what the hell? Just go for it. I roll some of them, roll some of them towards the back so that it's not just laying flat. And I've got a kind of a flat place up here because let's be real, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to roll my hair for me with no help is very difficult because it hurts to keep my arms up. And it's not just because they're humongous. Anyway, once I get my my fancy mic, I'll be putting some of my just chatty stories and stuff on podcast through my um, blog on WordPress and. According to the podcast program I got kind of talked into because it's part of WordPress, something called Anchor. Um, the podcast will be distributed to Spotify. Interesting, huh? I will probably also add them into my catalog here. I may, I'm thinking about doing a second channel. I know this one's puny enough as it is, but I'm thinking about doing a second channel. It's just for the Wall Pod series. We'll see what happens. But you know, you know, people are not going to want to have to sort through all of my random makeup covers to uh, find the blogs if that's what they're looking for. The blogs and the book stuff, whatever. Anyway, no, I don't have, I got moisturizer on, I didn't put any foundation on, there's no blusher other than my little overly heated pinky cheeks. I put some concealer on early because I've got I've got 
God's third eye, okay, right here. So I put some concealer on it. I put a little light color concealer up the center of the nose to start kind of, like, kind of contouring stuff. And that's it. You know, I covered the, the dark circles a little bit with the concealer. So. Anyway, what do you think? Does it work? Little bitty bright flag. If you're proud, use your voice. If your family cannot handle it, mom and grandma have hugs given to the breathing. Just remember to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Anyway, as usual, keep your distance. Wash your hands, wear your mask, get your backs if you haven't done it yet. Mind your manners. Don't be mean to people. Be kind for no good reason. Other than it's a fun thing to do. You'll feel better, so will everybody around you. If you start trouble, there is no bail. Got it? Good. Be good.